On a cold winter morning in Alabama, Roy Moore rides his horse Sassy into the small town of Gallant to cast his vote. He is accompanied by his wife Kayla to vote at the local firehouse, a tradition for the cowboy hat wearing Mr. Moore, who says riding his horse to the polls brings him luck. It may not be luck that wins him the election, more jaw clenching determination not to be toppled by serious sexual assault and harassment allegations dating back 40 years. Today's election will test whether Alabamians have been swayed by the allegations against Mr. Moore that he actively pursued teenaged girls when he was a district attorney in his 30s. One accuser says she was 14 when he touched her sexually. Another was 16 when she says he groped her in his car. It will also again test what Americans are prepared to tolerate among their political representatives. Mr. Moore has denied the allegations repeatedly and largely tried to avoid the spotlight as Election Day approached. Today he braved a massive scrum of national and international media to reach the polling station. He told me he feels confident that the day will end in victory. What will you bring to the Senate, Judge Moore? I ask him amid a media pack stumbling and falling in the mud. Constitution and God, he replies. Amid the cascading allegations of sexual misconduct in sport, Hollywood, media, business and recently, politics, the allegations against the Republican Senate candidate have dominated the national conversation for weeks. They've also reignited discussion about harassment allegations against Donald Trump that were made before the presidential election, and did stop him from getting elected. And they've placed a spotlight on the Republican Party and how far it will go to win. Democrats have tried to take the moral high ground and we pose the issue, forcing two members accused of harassment to leave politics. Now, three Democrats have also called for the president to resign. After initially failing to condemn Mr. Moore, senior Republicans eventually distanced themselves, pulling funding from his campaign. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said the women, now nine in number, should be believed. But still Mr. Moore hung on. Polls tightened, showing Democrat Doug Jones had a slim chance of winning the Senate seat made vacant when Jeff Sessions joined the Trump administration as Attorney General. But polls also showed that most Alabama Republicans still supported Mr. Moore, and believe the campaign against him is a witch hunt by the mainstream media and the Washington establishment. Many either that believe the allegations or say the time when the incidents occurred was a different era when relationships between young women and older men were more acceptable, especially in Alabama. So, the president stepped in, fully endorsing Mr. Moore and attacking Mr. Jones as a pro-abortion liberal. Many of Alabama's conservative, Christian voters make their choice based on that issue alone. Voters interviewed outside the polls in Montgomery, the state capital, on a chilly Tuesday morning said the sexual misconduct allegations against Mr. Moore were inconclusive. That air speculation.